wrestling veteran, recently gave his thoughts on a major claim made by real-life Bloodline member Rikishi about WWE superstar Jacob Thatcher's rumored backstage confrontation with Triple H. The veteran in question is Conan. Jacob has already made a huge name in world wrestling entertainment by winning the WWE Tag Team Championship alongside Tama Tonga. However, during an edition of SmackDown, Solo Sokoa ordered the Samoan Werewolf to give his title to Tonga Loa. Following this segment, a rumor started circulating on social media about an alleged backstage confrontation between the company's CCO, Triple H, and Jacob Fatu. However, Rikishi recently debunked this and assured Jacob would never disrespect the game. During an edition of Keeping It 100, wrestling veteran Conant agreed with Rikishi's comments, saying that he knew Jacob Fatu personally and did not believe that the latter would do anything like that with Triple H. During an edition of his Off the Top podcast, Rikishi said that he believed that WWE was pushing Jacob Fatu too fast. The Hall of Famer added that he wanted the company to let Jacob show off his talent in different matches before facing someone like Cody Rhodes. Professional wrestling is known for its intense rivalries, but often the most compelling drama happens behind the scenes. One of the most talked about stories in recent wrestling lore involves a backstage confrontation between WWE executive and legend Triple H and the Samoan powerhouse Jacob Fatu. While whispers of this incident have circulated for some time, a veteran wrestler has recently doubled down on a claim made by WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, sending shockwaves through the wrestling community. Rikishi, a key figure in the legendary Anwai family dynasty, reportedly spoke out about an incident where Jacob Fatu, a standout talent in Major League Wrestling, MLW, and a member of the same family had an intense confrontation with Triple H. According to the veteran who supported Rikishi's claims, this altercation wasn't just a heated exchange of words, but a moment that highlighted Jacob Fatu's fearsome reputation backstage. He will F asterisk asterisk K you up, the veteran reportedly said, adding another layer of intrigue to an already sensational story. To understand the gravity of this confrontation, one must first delve into the history and significance of the Unwai family in professional wrestling. The family has produced some of the most dominant and influential figures in the industry, including The Rock, Roman Reigns, the USOs, Yokozuna, and of course, Rikishi. Jacob Fatu, like his famous relatives, is part of this remarkable lineage and carries the same natural charisma and in-ring prowess that has made the Anwai family a force to be reckoned with in WWE and beyond. Jacob Fatu is best known for his work in MLW, where he has earned a reputation as one of the most dangerous competitors in the business. A former MLW World Heavyweight Champion, Fatu is celebrated for his powerful, high-impact style that blends agility and brute strength in a way that echoes his family's legacy while also carving out his own path. Despite not being a regular feature in WWE, his talents haven't gone unnoticed by the wrestling world, and certainly not by Triple H. It was this reputation, built on both his in-ring dominance and the respect he commands backstage, that set the stage for a memorable clash between Fatu and Triple H, the current head of WWE's creative and talent relations. Details about the confrontation between Jacob Fatu and Triple H have remained somewhat elusive, but Rikishi's recent comments brought the incident back into the spotlight. During an interview, Rikishi hinted that Fatu's relationship with WWE had been complicated, and the backstage altercation with Triple H added fuel to the fire. According to reports, the confrontation occurred when Jacob Fatu was being considered for a potential WWE contract. Triple H, known for his no-nonsense approach to talent management, reportedly raised concerns about Fatu's attitude and the way he carried himself backstage. This led to a face-to-face -face meeting that quickly escalated. While the specifics of the conversation are still under wraps, what's clear is that Jacob Fatu didn't back down from Triple H, something that surprised many. 
Given Triple H's status as both a wrestling icon and a key decision maker in WWE, according to the veteran wrestler who corroborated Rikishi's claim, Fatu stood his ground, making it clear that he wasn't intimidated by the game or the power he wielded. He's not one of those guys who's going to kiss the ring or bow down, the veteran explained. If anything, Jacob Fatu's going to tell you straight up how he feels, and if you push him too far, he will F asterisk asterisk K you up. This statement not only backs Rikishi's account of the incident, but also reinforces the idea that Jacob Fatu is a man of principle, unwilling to compromise who he is, even when faced with the opportunity of joining WWE, the biggest wrestling company in the world. The veterans claim that Jacob Fatu will F asterisk asterisk K you up, speaks volumes about Fatu's persona. This isn't just hyperbole designed to make Fatu sound intimidating. It reflects the reality of who he is as both a performer and a man. He's a product of his Samoan heritage, where respect and honor are paramount. To cross someone like Jacob Fatu is to invite consequences, both professionally and personally. This tough, no-nonsense attitude has earned him respect in the locker room. But it may also explain why Fatu has yet to make the jump to WWE despite his incredible talent. WWE is known for its corporate structure and political landscape, where playing the game is often as important as what happens inside the ring. For someone like Jacob Fatu, who values authenticity and refuses to play by those rules, that could be a barrier. The veteran's endorsement of Fatu's toughness only adds to the legend surrounding him. It paints him as a wrestler who can't be controlled or molded by anyone, not even by Triple H. This makes Fatu a unique figure in modern wrestling, a man who could potentially reshape the landscape of WWE if given the chance, but also someone who refuses to compromise his identity to fit into the corporate mold. Triple H, as both an executive and a veteran of the wrestling business, has encountered his fair share of confrontations over the years. Known for his cerebral approach to wrestling, both inside and outside the ring, Triple H likely saw the altercation with Fatu as a test a moment to see how the Samoan wrestler would respond under pressure. From Triple H's perspective, Controlling a locker room is about more than just booking matches. It's about maintaining order and respect among the talent. The fact that Jacob Fatu didn't back down could be seen as a sign of defiance, but it might also have earned him some measure of respect from the game. In an industry where wrestlers are often expected to fall in line, Fatu's unwillingness to do so makes him stand out. However, this confrontation also illustrates the tension between Triple H's role as an executive and his identity as a wrestler. As someone who built his career on being the toughest guy in the room, Triple H might have seen shades of himself in Fatu. After all, Triple H became the game by refusing to bow down to anyone, including the likes of Vince McMahon. But now, as the one in charge, he finds himself on the opposite side of that dynamic. The wrestling world has responded to this story with a mixture of admiration and curiosity. Fans and wrestlers alike have long respected Jacob Fatu's ability, but this latest development only solidifies his reputation as someone who stands by his principles, even if it means going head-to-head -head with one of the most powerful figures in the industry. On social media, fans have begun speculating about what could have been if Fatu had signed with WWE. Would his confrontation with Triple H have resulted in a storyline or angle that could have propelled him into mainstream WWE stardom? Or did Fatu's unwillingness to play by WWE's rules cost him that opportunity? The wrestling community remains divided on this question, but one thing is clear, Jacob Fatu's stock has only risen.